update came out, um, the Catacombs of Kurend. So it's a new little Slayer dungeon. It's mostly aimed towards uh, lower level players or more casual players that don't use a cannon while slaying. So a quick way to get there, you do have to unlock this first, uh, but a quick, quick way to get there is using the, the Teleport to Kurend on the normal spellbook, which takes you straight to uh, where you enter it. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport there. The teleport there takes two laws, two souls, four waters, and five fires. So go ahead and teleport there if you have that. If you don't, here's the world map. Um, you can take the a boat from Port Serim over to this port over here, and then you just run west, and you get over to the Great Karens. Or you can use one of the teleport um, amulets that you get from the warrior, I think it's Shazian house, um, to teleport to the Great Current. Um, there's a few teleports on there and then you just head over to this center area. So once you're here at the center area, you investigate the statue and you it will take you down into the dungeon. So once you're down here, there are tons and tons of monsters down here. I'm going to go ahead and put a, a map up right now. And so some of the new monsters in here are a Deviant Spectre, it's a high, the, all the new monsters are like higher levels of Slayer monsters that we already have. So if you want a Slayer monster with a little bit more HP, not quite so low level, you can kill these instead of the ones that we already have. But you can't use a cannon here, which is kind of a bad thing for some of these if you're, if you're a person that uses a cannon. But like I said, this is geared more towards casual players who probably aren't using a cannon. So the new monsters are Deviant Spectre. Uh, Greater Necreal, Mutated Bloodveld, Warped Jelly, Twisted Banshee, Brutal Blue Dragon, Brutal Red Dragon, and Brutal Black Dragon. So along with this entrance, there are four other entrances you can find and unlock. Uh, you can't use them until you've unlocked them, so I'm going to go ahead and show you them. So here is the first one. Um, to unlock it, you just climb up the rope, and that should unlock it. So this one takes you to the Arceus house, just right next to the Dark Altar, south of it. Um, so now, if you want to enter from here, you can just go down that hole. So on to the next spot. So this is the next spot, it's down in the south eastern corner, so pretty much just run south from the last exit or entrance, whatever. So climb up the, the rope to unlock it, and it takes you here next to a bank, and it's pretty close to the teleport, one of the teleports on the talisman that you get from the Shazian house. So this is one of the useful uh, entrances. And so I'm going to go back down and head to the next uh, entrance slash exit. So here is the third one, so climb up the rope to unlock it, should be unlocked, it is here in the Shazian house, um, so back down to the final spot. Okay, so I actually died, that's why the change of gear, um, the final spot has dragons, so you want to be careful going there, um, and when I died I lost my ancient um, shard thing, which you make the arc light with. And I wouldn't go this way actually because there is a shortcut. I think it takes an agility level, so I'm going to go ahead and go the longer way. Uh, so yeah, just watch where I go and that should take you to the final rope. Okay, so once you're over here, the shortcut should be right here, and these are actually really good profit from when I've heard black dragon, the brood of black dragons. But anyway, climb up the rope, 
that should be now unlocked. This is in the mining city. Um, so there you go, it's right there. Uh, this little, this Xerix talisman teleports you right into the center of this city where the furnace is at, so you can just run east and get over here pretty quickly. There's also an altar, so that is nice. Um, so yeah, that's it for all the locations. Another cool thing about this place is uh, when you bury bones, it restores prayer, um, which is actually not that helpful if you do it manually, but it is great to have a bone crusher because it will just bury the bones for you manually. These guys aren't picking up the bones, so I'll go ahead and show you guys. So I'm at 91 prayer, or 90 prayer now, and if I bury this bone, I am now at 91. So whenever you bury bones, including when your bone crusher does it for you, it will restore prayer. Uh, that is a nice little helpful thing. And then the final thing about this place right now is the arc light. It's probably the biggest thing. Um, so when you, when you kill the monsters, you have a chance of receiving a ancient shard, which I used to have in my inventory. If you go back and look at my other clips, it was next to this dark totem base. It's like a purple little crystal. From what I've heard, the drop rate is one in 500 minus the HP of the monster. So Abbey Demons, I think, have 150 HP. That means it'd be one, a chance of 1 in 500 minus 150, which is 350, so 1 in 350. That is, hasn't been confirmed as far as I know, but that is, like, I'm not sure where people got that from, but that's what I've heard it is. So as far as I know, that is the best uh, guess that I have. Um, also, you can get these dark totem bases and pieces, and once you get three of them, you can add them together. And once you add them together, you can fight a boss, which drops a hard clue every single time you kill it. Sometimes an elite clue. That is not out yet. That's coming out next week. So I'll probably do a video on that next week. Um, I now have zero shards. I was going to make a video on the arc light later, probably, but now I have zero. Uh, I got one shard in a task of like 250 black demons. So I'll probably try and get three shards again to make the arc light later. But uh, for now... I don't have it, it'll probably take a few hours to get. Uh, from what I've heard, the arc light is pretty good, but it's not worth it if you're an efficient player. It's not worth it to come here and get it. But it is a nice little bonus if you just feel like training here. So that's pretty much it for this place for now. Um, if I do get three pieces, I'll go ahead and make a video of the arc light, testing it out at probably Zami, maybe Abbey Demons or some other demons. It's only strong against demons, uh, not against demons, it sucks. So. Yeah, I, and then next week I will do a video on the using these uh, dark totems to fight the little demi boss. Uh, but for now, that is pretty much it for what is out right now. So thanks for watching, and see you guys later.